Before digging into why Caterpillar stopped making truck engines, here is a bit about the company. With 2021 sales and revenues of $51.0 billion, Caterpillar Inc. is the world's leading manufacturer of construction and mining equipment, off-highway diesel and natural gas engines, industrial gas turbines, and diesel electric locomotives. The company was founded in 1925 and today, globally, has more than 107,000 employees with 160 dealers, serving 193 countries. But with such a big company, how come they stopped producing on-highway truck engines back in 2010? Let's take a look at it. About the engine. One of the most popular truck engines ever built is the CAT 3406E, which had first production in 1993. Caterpillar released many variations of the 3406 before finishing on the 3406E. This included the 3406A, 3406B, 3406C, and finally the 3406E. Following came the C-15 in 1999, and already in 2003, Caterpillar had introduced its full line of truck engines for highway use. The new C-7, C-9, C-11, C-13, and C-15 engines meet the standards set for exhaust emissions that were imposed by the Environmental Protection Agency on October 1, 2002. The new engines, which use proprietary Caterpillar ACERT combustion and exhaust treatment technology instead of exhaust gas recirculation, instead of EGR valves, which allows a precise quantity of exhaust gas to re-enter the intake the system, effectively changing the chemical makeup of the air entering the engine. The new ACERT technology utilizes an efficient combustion process built around flexible fuel injection. However, later they found out the ACERT engines had a lot of problems, kept breaking down, and was not compliant with the new EPA emission standards. This resulted in lawsuits and fines from the EPA. It wasn't until 2008 that Caterpillar announced that they would stop producing engines for the North American on-highway truck makers that will meet stricter 2010 emission standards. They kept to sell power plants through 2009 and will keep supporting the estimated 1.6 million CAT engines on the North American roads. Caterpillar had been the market leader for heavy-duty truck engines for a decade until 2007 where Cummins outsold them, which continued into 2008. All engine manufacturers had to introduce new technology in 2007 to meet tightening federal emissions rules, but Caterpillar's engines were hampered by reports of frequent breakdowns and poor performance. The Cat Truck Caterpillar also announced June 12, 2008, along with Navistar, that the companies would start producing a Caterpillar-branded Severe Service Vocational Truck. They launched the CT660 in 2011, followed by the CT680 and CT681 since then. The CT660 came with an inline-six engine with up to 475 horsepower and 1,700 pound-feet, but it only lasted six years. In February of 2016, Caterpillar announced the ending of productions of on-highway vocational trucks. Based on the current business climate in the truck industry and a thorough evaluation of the business, the company decided it would withdraw from this market. This was also in line with the company's ongoing restructuring to align its businesses with the existing conditions. Remaining a viable competitor in this market would require significant additional investment to develop and launch a complete portfolio of trucks, and upon an updated review, we determined there was not a sufficient market opportunity to justify the investment," said Ramin Younesi, Vice President with Responsibility for Caterpillar's Industrial Power Systems Division. In the past 15 years, CAT has become significantly less dependent on the sale of on-highway truck engines in the total contribution of the global engine profitability. In fact, they supply approximately 400,000 diesel engines annually outside of the on-highway truck market. And decided to stop altogether, and instead focus on their core business. Ever-increasing emission rules the EPA has been regulating and setting new emission limits since the 1970s. In 2004, the agency set down new rules for heavy-duty truck emission standards. They gave truck makers the next six years to apply them. As of 2010, 100% of new diesel engines had to meet the EPA's terms. New rules and stringent standards are constantly being imposed, and engine manufacturers are struggling to maintain the strict requirements. 
So, to sum it up, the reasons Caterpillar stopped producing their on-highway truck engines was a combination of tighter and tighter emission rules, too many breakdowns and repairs on their ACERT engines, as well as that there was too much competition and too little earnings compared to the off-road engine segment. What is your opinion? Do you wish Caterpillars made a comeback? We hope you learned something new, and thanks for watching. See you in the next video!